Hey guys, welcome back to Cloudfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we've been keeping tabs on the Disney situation, the uh, Dismageddon. Dismageddon. Um, you know, the fact that Disney has all of its theme parks across the globe, I believe, are shut now. Yeah. Well, no, this weekend. Well, I think Disney World's still open until tomorrow. But everything else is closing by the Yeah, they're, they're closing down. They're closing down. Uh, Disney Cruise Line is closing down. Uh, Tokyo Disney was actually supposed to open this weekend, and they're keeping it closed until sometime in April. They don't know when. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. So, you know, we don't know what's going on with that. And we're wondering, wondering because some stuff just happened with uh, Walt Disney World, if they aren't possibly planning for uh, a longer shutdown. Yeah, this is a little weird. If you're only going to be shut down for two weeks, this move. I mean, there's reasons I can. Uh, there's also reasons why I can see them doing it beyond that. But it's a little weird. Um, I think there's more going on than what they're letting the public know. Uh, I don't know. Again, this is all this is all speculation. I want to make sure this that everybody knows this is speculation. But a lot of media outlets have actually been covering what they're calling the uh, potential collapse of Disney's media empire. In fact, I saw it on Yahoo News. They said Disney is being crippled in basically uh, every pillar of its business: tourism. Uh, movies and sports mm -hmm. and it's just it's the recipe for the perfect disaster again you know we do talk a lot about disney but sometimes people take it to be negative we do like disney again, you know what here's my thing i'm so tired of people coming on here being like you don't know anything suck it clearly we do clearly we do and you wouldn't be bothering coming on here making comments so you know bite me for one <laughs> and two you know i we, i'm tired of hearing you just wanted to fail look are you happy now people are out of work no we have never no, said we're that. Not. We're actually, not actually we've said multiple times this is not going to go under and we have we don't we sing the praises of cast members often we don't want to see people get fired that are majority of people we just want to see effective change because there's a lot of bs decisions that have been made in recent years that we don't agree with and you can like something and not agree with every part of it. Like, I'm sure you out there whining about it don't like every episode of a TV show you, you watch or don't like every song of every album you ever had listened to and you still consider yourself a fan of the franchise. Same right back at you because we, we don't agree with every decision that they make on every franchise doesn't mean that we don't, don't like Disney. And I'm sorry to yell, but you know what? I'm so tired of these absolute little asshats showing up making comments. And you know who turns out to be right most of the time? Oh, that would be us. Yeah, we do get a lot of people who come into the comments who are like, uh, either they're trying to argue with us or they're telling us that we're just a bunch of well, haters. So there's just and, like these random accounts with like no subscribers yeah, that show yeah. up and they, all, and they all show up back to back to back say the same thing, which sounds to me like somebody going through and rotating through all their multiple accounts. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, so I think it's like two people. So two trying people, to look like they actually matter. Two people don't like our videos. Um, this is this look, and I, I feel horrible because we do know a lot of people at Disney. We know a lot of people in and around the park scene. We know people on the studio side. This is going to be catastrophic for the business. This is bad. This is bad for a lot of people. This is the worst case. This, this is going to hurt a lot of people. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, so this is why we're wondering if they aren't going to close the parks down longer than they anticipated. They thought it was going to be a two-week thing. Uh, they just sent all the college students packing. Well, it's not just a college program. According to that message, it was it was several programs. But yeah. the college program was the one that everybody's focusing on. Everybody's focusing on college, but they're also sending the folks home from Epcot, from the World Showcase. Yeah, from the cultural exchange program and the yeah. academic exchange program as well. Yeah, basically, basically paid interns. Um, the cultural representation program, which I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. Most of the people who work in Epcot, they come from... At the World Showcase. At the World Showcase. They come from their home country. It's authentic. I mean, you go to a particular country, 99.9% mm -hmm. uh, .9 of the time, you're going to find people from that actual country working in the pavilion. Um, and, uh, you know, the thing is, I don't think... You know, Disney was talking about how they're going to pay they're gonna pay all of their employees, but they don't count these people or the college program kids or uh, what's the other one, academic Well, exchange. some of them they do count um, as far as being paid, but some other programs it's run through a third party and right. so the third party isn't paying. It's very confusing. So some people aren't getting paid and it's because they're not actually considered cast members, you know, straight up. Yeah, they're not they're not on the same level, I guess, as a straight up, uh, you know, salaried or hourly mm -hmm. cast member and they don't have the same protection. We're, we're gonna talk about that, but they are definitely sending people packing. Now, if they, again, this is just tinfoil mouse ears. Yo, Geeky mentioned this earlier, right? 
Yes, first thing I said was if they're opening the parks again in two weeks, but all these people have to be out by Wednesday at 11 a.m. And that's a week and a half away from when they're reopening. Why would you send all your people out of the way for if you're opening in two weeks? Yeah. And the college kids make up uh, they make up a big chunk. It's the interns, guys. Yeah, they make up a huge chunk of employees in the parks throughout all the resorts and the theme parks. Now, there could be some reasons, and I had someone write me on Twitter as well, and they were saying the exact same things I was thinking, which are, you know, they're in the dorms, guys. They're like, they're like there's like housing for these these students and stuff. And you, you're closing parks and stuff down because everybody's so close proximity to each other, you don't want them to get sick. Well, having a bunch of kids shoved into housing back to back to back with like very little, you know, supervision and they're you know all being shut away for like two weeks, probably is not going to be a good thing and Disney would be responsible for it. So that's probably not a good idea. So I can understand that move, but they're canceling. It's not like they're going home and coming back. They're saying that they're canceling it at this point and they're giving them certificates of completion to show that they successfully completed the program. You know, they had been there just for a week. That sounds pretty final. Um, now this is the, this is the letter that they sent out to people. And they said, this is where it gets kind of tricky because they said all Disney program participants will continue to be paid through the end of the month and weekly housing deductions will be waived effective immediately. Each of you will be given the completion. Okay, but that doesn't include the folks who are working in the World Showcase, yeah. apparently. Well, yeah, well, some of them, though, because they're they're talking about the cultural exchange on the other thing. So I, I'm confused here. It's very confusing. I think it depends where you work. Yeah. Yeah, um, we put an article out in Pirates and Princesses where there's someone on Twitter who works uh, in the Mexico Pavilion saying that they weren't going to get paid. They're going to waive their housing, mm -hmm. but they're not getting paid. But they're again, they're part of the, the cultural representation program. Now, what they don't mention in this letter, they say the college program, culinary program. Oh, here it says cultural exchange right. program. So they're in saying they're going to be suspending hmm. them, but they don't say Disney. All Disney program participants will continue to be paid. So that's why I'm thinking the person that's not getting paid is either misunderstood or more likely because they're going through a third party ownership. Like some of the restaurants and things on property are not owned by Disney. He works at the or she works at the San Angel Inn, so it might be. Yeah, that one isn't I, it's I owned by a third party. Like I know the Patina Group owns and operates some of the restaurants and things. Yeah, so and they're owned by different companies. Well, that's thing too about you know beyond this beyond the college program beyond like there are so many third parties that are going to be damaged mm -hmm. by this uh you know look at look at the restaurants that are owned and operated by third parties you know they're well, not a bunch yeah actually. they're not disney employees even in the parks and you, you know beyond that like you know this is kind of unrelated but related if you're going to go down to disney you have a dining plan check your dining plan because some of these third party restaurants and it turns out there's a lot of them are not taking the dining plan anymore so yeah. you go down there thinking, like, I know the restaurant in France is, an, is a third party. I know a couple of the, the ones in Japan are, are third party ownership. So you have to check because uh, some of them don't take the dining plan anymore because of the, the guidelines Disney has put on it. And people going in thinking, I'm going to go to Chef de France. And, and then, oh, look, they aren't taking the dining plan or whatever. So these are the, probably the places that aren't covering. Third party. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, I mean, this is scary. This sounds to me... Uh, you know, this sounds to me like they are planning on, because if they knew these people were coming back in like a week or so, week and a half, you know, they'd be like, well, just hang out. We'll figure something out, you know, but I, I think it's possible, I'm not saying it is, but I think it's possible that they could be looking at a month long closure, a two month long closure. I mean, some of the cruise lines are closing for two months. Well, Canada, they're saying flat out that they're not allowing cruise ships to enter and, you know, to dock and arrive or depart mm. uh, until the until July. And that includes some of the ships that were going to be going on Alaskan cruises from Canada that were Disney Cruise Line. So um, I, I don't know, guys. Here's the thing. Do I think it's two weeks? I really doubt it. It could be, and let's all hope it is. Because if it yeah. goes past that, yeah. we're talking worse damage than we ever thought. Yeah. So for everybody's sakes, and for cast members' sakes, because they're only saying they're paying to the end of the month. They're not saying what's going to happen to these people past that. Right. Um, For everybody's sake, let's hope it is two weeks. But I'm not 100% convinced it's only going to be two weeks. Yeah, I'm not either. Again, you know, looking at Tokyo. Tokyo, everybody's talking about how in Asia, uh, you know, the... The thing we can't talk about has already kind of blown through mm -hmm. and people are getting better and it seems to be sort of dying down over there, but they're, they're still extending the closure of Tokyo Disneyland. It's just getting started over here. Right. 
I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, they are going to have some transportation uh, available still because I guess they're saying the hotels are staying open, even though I'm hearing from somebody uh, on the down low that that might end shortly because there's a talk that they might close the hotels. But that has not been confirmed. That is just a rumor. Um, so don't take that, you know, as, as the gospel truth yet that we're just waiting to hear about that one. Um, but right now they're saying there are, there is going to be transportation options, um, after the parks close, you can still take the buses. They're going to have buses that go to like Disney Springs or between hotels. You cannot go to theme parks. Hmm. Uh, you'll be able to take some of the, the, the monorail lines that they're connected to the hotels, but the ones that go to the theme park, you can't. You will not be able to take the Skyliner because the the turnaround stations where you have to yeah. get on and get off, um, they're over at the parks. So, you know, you can't, they're, they're closing those. So there will not be a Skyliner and there will not be like monorail going into like Magic Kingdom or Epcot or anything that, that requires you to stop at the parks. You won't be getting off there. But there will be some transportation available at this time as long as everything stays as is and they decide not to shut the hotels. So, okay. So I got to wonder then, uh, whenever the parks open back up, what's that could be like because if we have all the college kids went That's, home i don't know uh we've got a lot of the international people going home well the one person that that messaged me um i was not gonna i'm not gonna name names uh said that uh that when they reopen they're gonna have a much lighter workforce because they're not gonna they're already planning on having less people when it opens because they they, they can't afford it after the hit they took well, that's the thing. Everybody's like, you know, hey, when Disney closes down, oh, they can fix all the stuff that's broken. That would be great because they're they're never going to have another opportunity for all the parks to be closed at once. And, right. But it comes down to money. Um, yeah. I don't think they're going to have the money to fix everything. In fact, uh, there were some people writing on Twitter and they were like, we're really concerned because uh, they might cut back more on employee perks and benefits and wages mm -hmm. and be like, guys, we just don't have the money now. Yeah. You know? Well, but it does make sense to do it now because people aren't there and then get a heck of a lot done. Because yeah. a lot of the problems is you only can work certain times like overnight or shut it down during a day and now they can get some things fixed. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, but I, I, it, it does seem more and more to me that, you know, two weeks is what they're planning, but they always word it by the end of the month, but they're going to keep an eye on it to see if that's, you know, if they could open by then. They always word it in a certain way that it's like, we were expecting two weeks, but you know. Uh, this is the exact same wording they used for Tokyo, mm -hmm. and then they waited until a couple days before Tokyo was supposed to open, and they decided that they were going to uh, keep it closed. And they don't, they're not giving a date. They're not giving a date of when they're going to open they Tokyo. They said April sometime. Sometime in April, hopefully. Well, hopefully. this is going to push back. They had their um, the new Fantasyland they're working on and stuff. That's probably going to push all that back. Um, it's just, I don't know, guys. I'm hoping. Wait. Oh, no. They said the grand opening for a new area in Tokyo Disneyland has been postponed from April. Oh, I knew 15th. that already. I covered it. Yeah, the mid-May 2020 or beyond. Yes, I know. That's why I just said. I, I already covered this on the... on the, oh. If you go to piratesandprincesses.net. Piratesandprincesses.net. I already covered this. See, see, he's not on this. I am. He used to be the one I who knew all this stuff, but now it's me. No, I already knew. That's why I said they're pushing it back now because uh, they have a whole new Fantasyland expansion and that's going to be pushed back because they don't, they're not giving a specific date. It just said uh, May, mid-May. Yeah, Hong Kong shut down in January and it's still closed i mean look again hopefully hopefully it's not going to be as bad over here as it was over there but it's very very possible um especially with you know orlando and anaheim being travel hubs and it just starting here that they could close they, they could keep it close let's hope it's not the case though because it really 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 is going to cause irreparable damage to not necessarily Disney itself, but all the, you know, other entities that work in and around Disney, like the travel, some of the travel agencies, maybe some of the airlines, some of the, you know, the cruise ships and some of the different, you know, people have like, like the garden grocery, not him specifically, but like people like that, that bring things in, services and, stuff, and yeah. stuff. It could really, really cripple some of these places. And, um, that could be bad. So let's hope. And plus, cast members, they know they're getting paid to then. We don't know if they're getting paid after that. No. But there's a lot of ifs and what ifs, and we don't want to see people get hurt. But the flip side is other everybody else closed for longer, and they, they're going, well, Shanghai reopened a month. No. Shanghai reopened some restaurants and their downtown Disney shopping. Which is like Disneyland. They're keeping right. They're the keeping downtown. that as of now. Disneyland's keeping their their downtown uh, Disney district open with the restaurants and the um, shopping. And while Disney World's keeping Disney Springs open, and then Disneyland Paris is keeping uh, keeping up in their their downtown Disney district type area. I forget what's called up my head. I normally know, but my brain is putting right now, trying to keep up with all this stuff. But um, 
there's a lot going on, and it just seems to me, why would you send a big part of your workforce? Because I mean, we, they they've been depending on interns. It's something we've complained about. Yeah. I mean, I'm all for college program. And it's a good idea. But what's happened is they rely on these college program people more than they rely on hiring full-time people sometimes because mm-hmm. it's cheaper. Yep. And the problem is uh, we've run into it like with, with media and things. You get somebody who's been there for a few months and then they're suddenly gone as a new person. Yep. Or somebody in, in bookings or something. There's, they keep having these people come in. They're there for a few months and then they're gone. Then you have to go through training somebody all over again doesn't know what they're doing. It's kind of a problem. And of course, they're going to want to give preferential placements to people who've been there for years. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, the, what the person was telling me is that they're going to focus on the, the longtime employees and they're going to be cutting back staff to try to uh, offset some of the losses. Yeah. When, when Disney, whenever it is, whenever it comes back online, they might be completely understaffed. Uh, I don't know, guys. I mean, this, the thing is, we don't know because th- this has never happened before. No, we're just, you know, going by what happened in Asia. Yeah. Now, of course, Asia, I think, was a lot worse. Yeah. Um. So we don't know. We Basically, we don't know. But what I can tell you is it's a little weird to send people, all those people home a week and a half before you're claiming you're going to reopen because then what are you going to do? Yeah. It's uh, just I prepare for, for it to be closed longer. Hopefully it won't be. Mm-hmm. Hopefully it won't be. But... Uh, I don't know. I don't we'll know. We'll have to find out, guys. But I know a lot of places are closing for a lot longer than two weeks. Yeah. So I know right now, even in PA, they're closing schools for two weeks. And then yeah. it's, but it's all like for now. And we'll Continue. see. And Yeah. We're going to take a look at it in two weeks and see. And that's kind of how Disney's been spinning it for Disneyland and Walt Disney World. I mean, credit to all the places that are shutting down that they're trying to keep their people safe. I mean, they're going to lose a lot of money. Mm. Now, Disney, in an effort to recoup some of that money, has released uh, Frozen 2 to Disney Plus yeah. uh, three months early. And guess what? Three days early, you can get The Rise of Skywalker. <laughs> Hot damn. So, you know, you can go buy that now for 20 bucks digitally. Um, and then while you're at it, you can go buy the, the I think it's, it hasn't been moved sooner, but on the 17th, you can buy the, the tie-in novel. And, you know, get all the, the, the retake of the movie. The patch. They're patching The, the patches. It. Did you tell them the latest patch? Oh, the latest patch is there's a whole nother ending, I guess, in, in the Rise of Skywalker novel that uh, uh, Ray actually does go back with her friend. She doesn't just live in Luke's She house. just loots it first. And then she goes loots back it with her first. Friend. So, you know, they, they, they're just <laughs> patching everything in this stinking book. So uh, why bother buying the uh, the digital when you could just go buy the book? Because it's going to completely change half the stuff in the movie anyway. Yeah, right. All right, guys. So I think we're going to wrap this up. Um, again, good luck to you if you work in and around Disney. Uh, definitely. I hope I hope everybody stays healthy. Yeah, First definitely. and foremost. And then I hope that, uh, you know, financially, I hope that uh, everyone is able to rebound from this. Yeah, we're thinking about you. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.